One of the great benefits of being a macro photographer is that we control the light. See, landscape, wildlife photographers, they shoot large areas, so they have no control over the light. But with macro photography, we shoot small areas, so we have control of that light. We use 12 inch diffusers, reflectors, LED lights, maybe a flash. So we have options on how we can control that light. The 12 inch diffuser is what I want to talk about today and that's the most important tool that a macro photographer can carry. And I'm always shocked when I go to macro conferences or photo conferences or workshops and, and talk about this subject and how many people that are unaware of this important tool. Now this is a Dame's Rocket Flower and it's supposed to be all purple but as you can see the top portion and some of the mid portions uh, have lost their color they're washed out now you may assume that maybe this was shot on a sunny day maybe the harsh light blew out the colors but no you'd be wrong this is a cloudy day and you're thinking hey it's a giant diffuser already up there why do we need another diffuser well even on cloudy days that light is harsh enough and reflecting into our subjects that are running parallel to the sky and blowing out those colors. So what we do is we take our 12 inch diffuser, uh, we position that over top of the subject, and when we position that 12 inch diffuser over top of that Dame's rocket, color comes right back. So you see image on the left, no diffuser, image on the right with the diffuser amazing difference. It's like a magic trick when this happens. It's, it's unbelievable when you see it happen before your eyes. But again, most people would assume because it's a cloudy day they don't need a diffuser on those days, but even on cloudy days when subjects are running parallel to the sky, sometimes they can blow out the colors. On the same cloudy day I was walking down a trail and I saw this leaf and I could see on the top of the leaf that the color was totally washed out. Now the top of the leaf is running parallel to the sky and that's the area that's losing its color but as you see the leaf dips down 90 degrees so the front of it is 90 degrees the sky it retains its color so again it's those areas that are running parallel to the sky and because these leaves and flower petals have a little sheen to them it kind of uh, washes out when that sky comes down and reflects into it so once we position our diffuser over top of this leaf you see the color comes right back. It's an amazing transformation by just putting that diffuser over top of it. What's nice about the 12 inch diffuser, and I've never used anything bigger than the 12 because we're shooting small areas, but that diffuser can fold down into four inches and fit in my front pocket of my pants. So if I want to go out and just have my camera on my tripod and I don't want to carry a backpack, I'm always having to carry that diffuser with me. And again, I can carry it right in my front pocket so it makes it easy. Here's another really good example of what I'm talking about is um, early morning sun. When it hits this sumac leaf on the left, you see it, it kind of turns those green leaves to more of a yellowish green. And that's because that has a warm feel in the early morning hours. Now, I don't want washed out or yellowish green leaves. I want green, green leaves like they're supposed to be. So I put my diffuser between my sumac bush here and the sun and you see the image on the right comes back to the natural green it's supposed to be. So on sunny days, uh, depending on any time of the day, uh, I'm going to diffuse my subject 100% of the time. And the reason being is because we will get altered colors with the sun hitting the subject. We'll also uh, get shadows in areas we don't want shadows. Uh, we'll get colors that will wash out. And so I'm diffusing 100% of the time on my subjects on sunny days. I just want a nice, soft, even light on my subject. But again, even on cloudy days, there will be times when the subject we're shooting, uh, if it's the right conditions and things are parallel to the sky, sometimes we'll lose those colors. So make sure you get out and pick up one of these 12-inch diffusers. Sometimes you might find it as a translucent. Uh, some sites that you go to call them translucents, some call them diffusers, uh, but look for either one. But they're, they're not expensive, folks. They're only like 15 bucks, maybe even cheaper. You can find them. But uh, it's the tool that I carry with me every time I go out because, again, regardless whether it's cloudy or sunny, I still 
have to have it with me.